What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Quavo Quavo, coming at you with another video, man. In today's video, y'all can see we react into a badge plus video about NBA 2K23, man. We're less than 30. I think we're like 31 days. So, man, we're really a good, solid month, man. 30 days ain't nothing. 2K23 will be here before you know it. Before we get to this video, man, make sure everybody that's watching this video right now do a favor for your boy, man, and smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Y'all see all my socials at the bottom of the screen, man. I live stream on Twitch every single day. You know what I'm saying? Big partner, big verified streamer on Twitch. Y'all come over there and rock out with your boy. We will be we will be streaming NBA 2K23 all year. I got y'all with all the dope bills, man. The full breakdown, all that, man. Um, yeah. So let's get into the video. Badge plug. Shout out to Badge, man. Shout out to Badge. You know I rock with you, man. He stops by the streams. Shout out Badge. OG in the community. Keep grinding, man. One million subscribers on the way. I got you with that extra like. If y'all want to know how to support your favorite streamer, bro, I don't know how many times I have to force this to y'all. If you really rock with somebody and want to see them win and they do YouTube, all you have to do is hit the like button, bro. Hit the like button. If you support Quavo, Quavo23, and you want to see me win on the internet, if you want to see me win with my grind, hit the like button. It's that simple, bro. You know what I'm saying? Badge, I got you with the like. Salute, man. Keep grinding, man. Uh, One million subscribers on the way. Keep working, man. All right, let's check out the video, man. Here we go. Today, we've got a lot of 2K23 to talk about, including something no one has heard yet that's very important, 2K23. Oh, yeah, I will tell y'all this. I can't say no names. Can't speak on nothing, really. Um, I have talked to somebody that played NBA 2K23 outside of Quick Match. It's definitely a very gif different game. I know a lot of people always be like, well, Quay, what 2K would you compare it to? None. It's different from what he told me. It's a very different 2K. It's real stiff. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, but shout out to the source that told me. If you're watching this, you know who you is, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm actually humble to to know the people I know when it comes to me doing this 2K shit, this this content creation, the streaming. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to anybody that really rock with me. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate that. Let's just watch this though. Free news. I get to show y'all for the first time, and here is the Lonzo Ball dribbling stamina clip. People have been freaking out about now with a side. I'm telling y'all right now. I can tell y'all right now from this source that I talked to. Get ready. All that dribbling is out the window. I'm telling you right now. It's out the window, so go ahead and get ready, bro. There's no more that all that left to right and then all that dribbling 24 seconds to 23 seconds shot clock. All that is gone. It's gone. By I'm telling y'all right now, it's gone. Comparison to 2K22. Now, once again, if you're a dribbler, I don't think this is anything to worry about. And if you hate over dribbling, this could be a good thing at the same time. I'm going to move so my camera I right while watching this back here. again is that under him, the three stamina speed boosts that you're supposed to be able to use every possession was not used. So we don't know right now if those bars that you use actually waste your stamina on top so there's many things that we don't know and at the same time that's without i heard 2k23 is a big so build game i'm starting off fine but you just might I'm not probably gonna make to two builds 20 seconds like you can in 2k22 now check this i'm probably gonna make two builds y'all i'm gonna upload them on youtube y'all know i'm telling y'all bro to follow my twitch i'm gonna do a full rundown i probably gonna do a 24 hour stream get off get my content drop my videos you know what i'm saying do what i got to do man because we're trying to grow we're trying to make it i'm trying to take care of my family I'm, I'm actually trying to get this money i'm trying to blow up to give back and put the 2k community on to be real with you bro to be honest host tournaments on the regular every week you know stuff like that you know what i'm saying to keep the community lit you know what i'm saying that's really all it's about bro it's not even about me it's about me taking care of my family paying my bills handling my priorities and stuff like that man but i'll never forget the 2k community and the reasons why the 2k community is toxic but the 2k community showed me so much love since i entered you know what i'm saying i grinded in 18 i'm still around 23 about to drop you know what i mean this makes five years i haven't been never been consistent with my grind but i've been locked in you know what i'm saying i'm coming you know what i'm saying they counted your boy out you know what i'm saying we digging though i'm start i'm starting to see a little light at the end of the tunnel and i'm just gonna leave it at that this out ld2k had a podcast with dom and on this okay, podcast okay. i listened to the whole 55 minute thing just for you guys i got two things out of it look at and that stamina bro was about rewards the person did tell me that a lot of people might be using shot meter i heard the shooting is very stiff i'm telling y'all bro i heard the shooting is very stiff i want y'all to listen to me i'm not capping now don't think i'm capping don't be like oh quay just talking da -da. and then the games come out and it's everything that i told you okay um I heard the shooting is very stiff. So y'all locking centers, man, you might have to tweak them arms this year. No funny. 
all my centers i, I ain't gonna lie to y'all it sounds like it's back to insides okay it sounds like it's back to inside it sounds like you're gonna need to grab a board not worried about shooting the ball okay i'm just letting y'all know i heard this shooting was like 21 current and if you know what i mean uh everybody was not shooting a lot of people was complaining they had a 70 65 75 three ball it was very very bricky okay so i'm just throwing that out there to let y'all know that i that's what i heard I, i'm not sure it's not 100 percent facts but that's what i heard okay on 2k23 so let's roll it and hey drop a like man i listen to the whole podcast for you guys thank you and let's roll it i'd be the most curious about how the rewards go and how they evolve that being that this was their first season doing it to be honest i'm not worried about the rewards the rewards are like being human bro visuals visuals man it's gonna be a new game it's gonna be a new game visuals or what bro we need good gameplay okay at this point we miss we miss having fun on nba 2k okay that's all it is we miss having fun the rewards the rewards i don't see what too much they can add for the rewards the park they need to do away with affiliation it's, it just needs to be one big park the affiliation shit is, is is just too much, bro, okay? Riding all the way to the Beast, riding all the way to the Vipers, riding all the way to the Knights. No. When people load in, it needs to just be one big part. If they need to add two more threes courts and two more twos courts, it needs to be that. Fill up that server. If that server's full, make people wait on games. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. They can keep the old gym, the market, all that. But when it comes to the, when it comes to the, the affiliations, they got to do away with it. It just needs to be one big part. That's it, bro. Um, oh, for sure. Um, it and and to just kind of put out a pointer there like mm -hmm. as it pertains to nba 2k22 rewards were a big topic of conversation for the producers of, right. of all that so uh i don't see what else they can add bro uh definitely i'm loving the sound of that right there ld2k y'all know think about it think about it bro they gave us tigers they gave us what they give us they gave us mascots and what they gave us what they give us mascots and jetpacks all in one season Ooh, like to be honest mascots are cool but like okay you know what i'm saying i feel like next year they should give us college mascots you know what i mean like do away with the nba mascot do do something different you know i don't i don't know you know i don't know all the look i mean the what was the legend the legend reward was a parrot like come on man like nobody cares about that bro no, and if they're gonna have the city that big they might as well give us a dirt bike and a damn four-wheeler you know what i mean they might as well give us something a, a, a damn goat cart man they might as well give us a damn dirt bike my something. top priorities for the next game is to have rewards that incentivize you to play something that makes you want to get on and unlock the only thing that's gonna make you want to play is not gonna be the rewards what's gonna make you want to play is the gameplay bro everybody talks about everything besides the gameplay bro the gameplay bro fun the fun bro okay so hopefully now of course ld2k has a different perspective than everyone else just like we all do but from what he said it sounds like the rewards might actually be worth it in 2k23 the seasons was their first shot at it we will see what they will do on the second go around this time but anyway mike wing the gameplay director if you guys don't know makes all the big decisions on the game was replying to more people about 2k23 on twitter and jeffrey asked him do you need the ball in hand for the claymore badge to work and Mike Wing, aka Baluba, said no. Claymore works by not having the ball. It's for floor spacing, sharps, spotting up for three. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see how that badge works out right there. And Luck TV went to Twitter and said, current gen or next gen, which are you playing in 2K23? Grinding said, undecided still, but if it's... Y'all let me know in the comment section which one of y'all playing. I'm starting off on next gen. There's just no way that I have a PS5 console and I'm starting off on current, okay? I'm going to be playing both games due to me being a content creator. I also have an Xbox. I have both consoles. Um... I have both consoles, man. I have both next gen consoles. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my supporters. Shout out to the people supporting me monthly. You know what I'm saying? I do. I take my payouts and I do what I'm supposed to do with them. You know what I'm saying? No trolling. I don't go. Out, I don't go out and buy all this designer and all this shit that y'all be on. I, I I invested in my grind and I'm locked in. Okay. So I have everything. I'll have current. I'll have Xbox. I got PlayStation Five. You know what I'm saying? Me. I'm starting off on next gen. Starting off on PS Five. My main my main console will be PlayStation Five for NBA Two K Twenty Three. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's only seasons for level again the game lasting a month sadly so i really hope that 2k announces a legend grind along with the season so that people that have a job and kids and aren't able to play the game as much are still able to get cool rewards and then the people that are able to play more and through i'm gonna tell y'all something i know fade is still op i know it is a dribble pull-ups fades space creator shots all that throughout the whole I year are able to earn super cool rewards like the legend and stuff like that that we've had in the past not 
a parrot. So it doesn't Fave. matter to me. Just please put good rewards Hot in back. the game. Please. Fave. Post score is going to be I'm OP. I'm begging you, 2K. Please. Anyway, Fave. Frost said, is the new fast <laughs> break jumpers. rule in the game where if the opposing team fouls your team to stop the fast break, you get to shoot a free throw and get the ball. Tired of teams fouling my big when he comes down with the board and stopping the break. And Mike said, yes, the new take foul rule will be in the game. So that's pretty cool right there. You're going to see some more fast breaks in 2K23. And we got even more to talk about. So Logan said, for the dunk commands, if I make a left handed player does the command switch for example you said right on the pro stick is the strong hand and can it be for the left as my strong hand mike said the left and right commands flip for lefties so that's definitely something you have to keep in mind if you make a right handed my player and also have a left handed or you play 5v5 but anyway cole the man went to twitter and this is what he said i love that there will be tier one tier two and tier three badges in 2k23 in my opinion i feel like hall of fame badges ruin 2k this new system gives me 2k16 vibes because badges max out at gold hopefully this is similar so i ran into a okay. concept on twitter of what the 2k23 badge system will look like from the information that we have so far and you can either pause it but i'm gonna have it up for a minute and it says there are 16 badges per category tier one is eight badges tier two is four badges tier three is four badges badges strength and effect okay this is somewhat what the, the bad system will look like in nba 2k23 i think it's a w anytime you don't you can't have a lot of hall of fame badges most of the time is that's that's a pretty good 2k you know what i mean that means nothing's too overpowered okay when you start letting when you start letting people run around with with seven and eight hall of fame badges in one category and that's when it gets crazy especially on offense bro you know just like 2k22 we got hall of fame stopping pot hall of fame mismatch expert hall of fame dead eye hall of fame circus threes hall of fame shift you know what i'm saying hall of fame hot zone you know it's it, that that's that's six right there i just named it i'm pretty sure it's more than that it's some that i did not name you know effectiveness tier one are the least powerful and least effective so of course you're going to get the most and tier three are elite badges but cost more then you have the new core badge as well each attribute category has a unique badge slot that can be filled with badges that don't count toward your badge points each badge will have a challenge requirement that once met will allow the badge to be placed into a core badge slot so this is very interesting and i want to see how this plays out but something i'm scared of is when you're making your build are you not able to change these badges because it kind of seems like something that you need to make with your build so hopefully they are interchangeable like we've had in previous years but there is so much to learn going into 2k23 badges wise jump shot dribbling is all not copy and paste which is amazing i just really amazing hope that the amazing man. And city is also not copy and paste and then we have an entirely new game pretty much so as you all know even if it's I ain't gonna lie to, I do too. I swear to God, I hope they did something. I know we had 12 minutes. I hope they, I hope they restructured the city somehow to make it smaller. I wouldn't even mind if they went back to like the neighborhood concept. You know what I mean? Where the park is just right there and, the, and everything is right there around it, bro. Like, Easy, no we don't know yet, but it's most We complained about the neighborhood, but I would do anything to have the neighborhood back, bro. Right I'm gonna be here. honest. Just like when the 2K the city is way too much. Out, way too much. This channel then when the game drops i'm gonna give you the best jump shots dribble moves i'm gonna be sitting there not playing online for two three days to learn all this stuff and give it to you all i can't wait man etc and we're gonna be good man my subs are gonna be playing 2k23 at a high level or at least much higher than you were going to play at so i got y'all don't worry hit that subscribe button if you're new and also with the 2k23 news you don't gotta look through facebook and twitter and instagram if you have all notifications you literally have to click one button Button when I upload and you get it all right there but anyway as it did say the core badges it's very interesting to me I mean very interesting that can be filled with badges that don't count towards your badge points each badge will have a challenge requirement that once met will allow the badge to be placed into a core badge slot we also have made several changes so is the core badges better than the gold badges like the tier one badges is it not as good as the tier three i'm thinking that the core badges are going to be around the best badges or the whole yeah that's what it sounds like build. i really yeah. don't know we have the so core badges sound like the learn. best badges not just when the game comes out with the jump shots the new dribbling blah 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 but literally the information on 
what challenges do you have to do to get these badges how effective are the core badges and what badges is 2k23 current gen gonna have versus 2k23 next gen are the badges able to be switched if out current and gen and next gen is the same game the i don't know why years. if you are got a ps5 why you would play current unless you're a content creator no is the cruise ship the it same shouldn't be your main console though change it around is the city a different city there is so i hope to god this city is different bro know about 2k23 and i'm tired honestly city, like i man. told you all in the last video tired excited for the game this is the best it has sounded in a while i mean i've literally yeah, been it is it years is years now as you guys know 2k23 sound like it might right be good and i know we say the same thing i know i know we say the same thing every year but 2k23 sounds like it might be a good game bro like no all jokes aside it all comes down to the gameplay the the little things, you know what I'm saying? I think I think we forget about the little things that made 2K good. You know what I'm saying? The little things, little things, man. Little Issues things, Issues when the game comes out. There's going to be cheese. There's going to be a meta. Just like in every single game. And like I've told you all, do This year, I'm going against the meta. So whatever the meta is, I'm going against it, okay? So if the meta's play shot, lock, and center, I'm going to be ice on, okay? Not saying that I won't have a play shot, you know what I mean? But like being a streamer, content creator, going against the meta, that's, your, that's the golden ticket, my boy. Not by the game because of my videos i'm not hyping up 2k23 this is my own excitement and my own opinions and feelings about the game do not yeah, facts, facts. because me but it is sounding good at the moment just because i'm saying it's good just because bash playing saying it's feel like it's gonna be good that don't mean anybody watching these videos feel like that oh quay we y'all say the same thing every year game game comes out it's terrible okay don't play it you know don't play it bro this is our job this is what we do we're gonna try to push out the content we're gonna try to make dope videos we're gonna try to have dope streams you know what i'm saying it is what it is man okay and i personally am excited luck said all one thing i am tired of is one, i'm gonna tell you something bro if you if the negative energy toward, like, you know what's crazy about 2K, bro? They could drop a good game, and the community so toxic that the game would still be ass. Just because the community can't please everybody. One one group of people love the game, the other group hate it. You know what I'm saying? It's, they never can win, All bro. that 2K23 news, but still no demo. And, hey, I'm waiting, man. We are right there. If there's going to be a demo, we are going to know very soon. And I just, oh, man, if we get a demo, that would be huge. It would be so good for 2k23 anyway luck also went to twitter and said 2k needs to make it where in 2k23 if you have a player on next gen it transfers to current gen especially with the builder being the same they also need to have a cloud to where if you upload your players on xbox you can have them on playstation by just downloading them so i still that. don't know of course we They're have so that. much information that was dropped on us last week even me who is just the crazy part is what luck just said that's a w idea and it would be like See, that's a small feature that would be a W. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's a small thing. That would be such a W. If I made a build on next and it transfers to current. You know, this is saying that's a W. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the small things can make 2K so good, bro. Like for real. Just like paying attention to all the news. I can't remember it all in full detail, but it did sound like 2K23 next gen is going to have a different badge system than 2K23 current gen. Yeah, or it does. Something of that nature, but it's still going to be the same. I don't same think it's going to be the I same game, know. but it's going to be the really same hard, builder. And a lot of it was kind of vague at the same time like how i told you guys it doesn't necessarily say 23 current and next gen are going to have the same builder it just said the same as next gen which could mean 2k22 next gen has the same builder as 2k23 current gen so i don't know man it's interesting but of course if it is different like the badges is different on next gen obviously they can't transfer over and 2k would never do that anyway but it's just a really good idea man might as well put it out there and laker fans said a 2k where a point guard with vision and game management is more important than being the score is such a wildly fun concept to think of, but it'll never happen. It'd be so interesting to see someone. This is what I think 2K23 is going to be like. No funny shit at the guard spot. I feel like um I think uh I feel like a point guard. I feel like the guards this year are going to have to have vision, IQ um to actually win this year. I really do. Be a conductor verbally and on the sticks rather than a ball hog. So, I really do. I feel like you're going to need your team this year, man. Guys. Um, there is a lot of new 2k players of course people are picking up the game every single year but look for the last five years in competitive 2k now of course park is different you can win in many ways playing park but actual competitive 2k wagers you know you it's always one player 2K man league the meta is a good dribbling and good shooting guard and that is yep. probably not going to change i'm talking about 3v3 pro-am rec whatever you want a guard that can shoot good 
and dribble good just like in real life now does that mean that it has to be broken and things can't be fixed like this year where play shots go straight through your body and many other things no of course 2k can tone it down to where it's not broken in a sense but it's going to continue to be the meta and competitive situations now there is a skill gap to the meta not everyone can just go okay i have the best play shot build in the game now i'm the best player in the world and trust me i hate getting left rotted just as much as you do but there is a big skill gap in terms of great players and people that are just simply doing left right cheese it hurts to admit but this is from eyeball greens who yesterday at the upa 5v5 pro-am tournament last possession of the game tie game was able to do this and you'll see what i'm talking about greens gets it under 10 are we gonna get the game now i was live streaming this and watching this live yesterday i think i had like 700 and some viewers watching this i'm gonna tell y'all before this clip even happens bro this is skill in nba 2k22 not every play shot can do this this is a wide open quick stop mind you quick stop from what i heard is not in nba 2k23 so i hope anybody watching this video is watching this to the full end you know so i hope you watch bro this is a great shot i am a guard and i would not have pulled this off i am a good 2k player i'm very good but eyeball greens is tough okay in the 2k lingo term tough tough means you've reached the uh, damn near the highest bracket i'm very good at 2k eyeball greens is tough okay i'm good at 2k eyeball greens is very good at 2k okay you understand what i'm saying this is pro-am this is the most skilled mode that we have in nba 2k right now anybody can win on threes anybody can win in twos anybody can damn near win on ones any at all i don't, I don't really count ones twos are not the same no more threes anybody can win on threes okay i'm telling you anybody not winning in pro-am in nba 2k i'm telling you right now game winner greens crossover looking for something five seconds to go greens to the top of the key over to the right that says 11%, but the quick stop, really, that should have been wide open. Nobody was there. If you go back, nobody was there. Greens, crossover. It was on the side. The blinder activates that. Look. To the top. That's wide open. The shot, he he shot the ball before the defender even contested it. And, it, and that still was 11%. You see what I'm saying? Top of the key over to the right. It's a green. He puts it in. High ball greens does it for empire gaming yeah that's pretty tough then you have people like sam volp who says there's no skill with left riding and shouldn't even be in the game real basketball i see a good four excellent poke ball opportunities that 2k would never award and be considered a reach and foul 100 emoji 100 emoji like look if you watch that clip right there where he did about eight dribble moves perfectly on time timed his shot correctly 11 percent and greened it I don't know what to tell you and by the way that is probably on a peer lockdown in a 5v5 setting where someone can come out the corner and pick up where you've got two great defenders on you guys that play the game all day you don't think that's skill i have nothing to say to you literally nothing there's nothing to argue about you just see i said it was skill before baz even yeah, said it was skill it's cheesy yeah that's he, skill quote unquote left <laughs> right but there is that's a skill, skill bro. there are people that are elite at 2k that are much different than the average left rider you see what i'm trying to say and if you just can't see that i don't know what to tell you i mean hey go to 5v5 pro-am and go ahead and show me you doing that since uh apparently that doesn't take any skill go ahead and be the next eyeball exactly. green, you know what i'm saying i'm one of the last people that want to admit it like i said but there is definitely a skill gap even within the meta if you play the most meta possible you're still not going to be the next eyeball greens but anyway click one of these two videos exactly, right here man. it's your boy badge plug you Shout out to Bash Plug for the information, man. We will, I will be keeping y'all posted with the rest of NBA 2K23, man. Y'all know it's getting closer and closer, so they're going to be giving us news, man. Before this video ends, man, if you watched it to the end, made it to the end, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Smash the like button for your boy if you support the grind, man. My Twitch is at the bottom of the screen. Y'all make sure y'all, I will also have it in the description. Y'all make sure y'all come check your boy out on Twitch. Um, I love each and every single one of y'all. Keep grinding. Chase the bag. It's mandatory. Stay sucker free, man. It's your boy Quavo, man. I'm out, man.